And hello, hello everyone. Welcome to more Dragon Quest XI. I am Pogmod. And I, I figured out that last quest, so it's it's a little weird. So, you, you, I'll show you. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. It's right here. Richie's Rock Hard Roulette Challenge, right? So that, it says, I'm available. There's a little girl who is standing here you have to talk to first. No indication or anything about her. We gotta do that first. Right? Then. She's like, I wanna give that nice mass murderer, ki murdering sociopathic killer, Vince, uh, the guy who fed innocent people to a monster for years, I wanna give him a little retirement gift. Like, but, but somebody beat me to the gift I wanna buy. So you have to go talk to this guy who bought the gift. He's like, win the jackpot. I've never seen it happen. And oh, that takes forever. All right, a vest for success, the statue. All right. That's why I got to take it to the orphanage. We made a deal, right? I don't back up the deals, man. All right, so I got a vest for success. Won the statue of Vince, the little girl the orphanage was after. Yay! But yeah, I took probably around two hours mindlessly trying to grind that to win the jackpot. It was... It was terrible. I think I want to buy... I'll buy a few of those because I can. Anyways, so yeah, that oh that quest it I don't I I know I was complaining before about the quest where you have to use pep up skills. This was hands down worse because it's entirely. Horribly RNG based. Oh, it was just terrible. I mostly got by with just putting my money on everything. This is good. Hey, Mr. Bogma, the told me Uncle Vince Stadge to be sent to the orphanage. So thanks to your coming to Vince Stadge, we shout to him. Now he's a hero to all us kids in the orphanage, right? And here's a good set for themselves. Everybody knows that. Thanks again for all your help. Couldn't do it without you. Oh, I just had a thought. So Vince kills fa killed some people, right? Those people could have had families. Oh, future orphans to be might be coming to this orphanage that Vince killed their parents. Oh, that would be amazing. Like, I wonder if my parents mysteriously died one tournament and then Vince took care of me. It's very mysterious. Nobody knows where Uncle Vince is, but you know what? Honestly, I'm glad. I don't want to talk to that guy. He's kind of a monster, kids. Anyways. It's time to flappy whale. You recall last time, we very, very brazenly went to go fight the uh, the Lord of Shadows. He had a magic protection field, but we blew that up. Oh, I like this. It's gripped in a hand of evil. Fortress of Spooky Fear. It's very spooky and fearsome. So spooky. Also, you may uh, you may see Jade wearing something a little different this time. Best guards. 
Money can buy. Or evil magic can make. I don't know. Hmm, some citrine. Some sapphire. An equable emerald. There she is! Look at Jade! She's in her battle princess attire. That's not a bad little look, I guess. Excellent, Jade. 18. I could probably use 18 points to buy something for you. Yes! More churn. I just need to get you the Pig Typhoon. And we can get your ultimate combination of beguiling and martial arts. Alright. So we're headed to the third floor. Flap, 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 flip, flap. There we are. I believe it was this door. What I need to go through next? Yeah, this looks new. Hello. How bad? Oh, I see. Come over here, Mr. Monster. C come on. Come on. Visor Kaiser. Thank you, Jade. Now we're at the Visor Kaiser. Ha ha! I'm unstoppable. Oh. So waiting for this so-called ultimate move. I just need more points. They're expensive. All is well that ends well. All right, what do we got up in here? Oh, it's a token taker. So looks like Jasper's still in here. Um, so things I've determined, just due to my understanding of these video games, we still have to have Jasper. Oh, holy crap! Oh, nicely done, Serena. Um, we have to fight Jasper still. So still have to kill the Lord of Shadows. We're going to travel in time, and Black Ghosty needs to still get uh, interacted with in some manner. Are they all token takers? Uh, 
is its own reward. A 34 is pretty good points for Hendrik, too. Hendrik! What do I want for you, buddy? So let's see what the, what's this secret power over here. Oh! Increases the bonuses afforded by Pep-Up. That's useful! don't need casino tokens at this point. I really... I've got over a million tokens. I, I don't need more. Our triumph was never in... With that said, I can't just not get them. Just like I could not do that quest for that stupid child, for that stupid Vince. Oh. I hope this helps. Thank you. Eric, meh. All right, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Nope. Bit of a shame that. Balhib. No, oh, that was a Balhib. What else do we have here? We've got... Oh, good! A treasure chest! Yoik! No! That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted the mini medals! Yes! Get into my suit! There we are! Nothing in that room... All right. No. It is very kind of not ominous it's music, though, for this place. I mean, it's a little ominous, but nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, we got that chest. Hello, you look like a point of teleportation. I think I fought these guys. I mean, I thought the... the Jerkules? Yeah. That I have fought. Ooh. Now, just the Flexi Jerkules. Yeah. 
Yay! And sadly, as always, oh, you're just getting so many skill points. But uh, yeah, Jade's magic points always always a weak point for her. You know what? Hold on a second. Psst. There you are, Jade. All the magic water you can drink. Like, was that where I came in? No, oh, you're new. A great keeper. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Is that really a keeper? Now, Serena, if you like if you like wizards in the bed, or in battle, or in the bathroom, I'm running out of B words. That's a keeper. Bed, battle, and bathrooms beyond. Hmm. Our triumph was never in doubt. Oh. A ghoul bar. All right. Guess I do jump off here. This place is designed for creatures that can fly! Just thing, uh... Hanging out there, buddy? Oh, I see it. Ah, oh, Almost! That'd have been hilarious! I would have certainly laughed. Oh, my face! No, usually this is where you get the ultimate weapons, but... And ultimate gear and all that, but not yet. Ooh, a fine fellow with liquid metal. Ooh. Liquid metal swords. Liquid metal great swords. Liquid metal goomerangs. Liquid metal spears. Liquid metal shields. Liquid metal helms. Liquid metal jackets. Liquid metal armors. Ooh. All the good things in life. I'm made of liquid metal. And I kind of hope there's a camping spot, because I kind of want to make myself a liquid metal great sword. Now the treasures, nope. Why are there two of you that are sparkly? Mm 
No treasures or anything hiding around down here? Nope, all right. The wall! I tried to get cocky. I tried to thread the needle. things you'll often find in a JRPG is the hero gets uh, lightning powers because lightning gets all associated with the heavens without necessarily having to be specifically heavenly. Fifty grand? Okay. If there's nothing left to buy at this point in the game. And as an aside, there isn't. Did I fight one of you guys on horseback? I don't think I did. Headless Hunter! Hmm. Gives pet power. The Crab Prayer? Nah. We don't need that. We just need to smash with swords. Good work, Jay. Victory is ours. Uh, ooh. <laughs> well, we're going to fight a dragon next time. Thank you all for watching. We'll come back soon to play more, but it'll suck you in a bit.